So you're on a budget and you're thinking about the 24 inch iMac right now? Well, let me tell you something. There's something better out there. It's still an Apple M1 computer. It's gonna be a lot cheaper and that's the key, a lot cheaper if you're on a budget. Granted, you can weigh your options, but I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna give you the costs. I'm gonna give you what you should actually buy instead. If you're on the budget, let's go. So welcome back to my channel and check out my backlog of like 300 and something Apple videos. So check those out. All right, you're looking for a, you're possibly gonna buy a 24 inch iMac and you're looking at the different models that they have. What should you buy instead? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you, you want an Apple for sure. You want an M1 CPU for sure. So what should you buy instead of the 24 inch iMacs? Well, there's a way better option. Now granted, this is gonna be for budget, people on a budget. And when I say budget, around $1,000 versus you know, 13 or $1,500, somewhere in that range. So about a thousand bucks, give or take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you an itemized list of stuff that you can buy for around $1,000 that blows away the 24 inch as far as the actual computer, the M1 computer. Now the, the other things like the monitor, the keyboard, the mice, I'm going budget so we can keep the price down. You can replace everything you want. I'm just giving you options and things that I've actually used personally and I have. And uh, you can do the rest of it yourself, but I'll have links to all the stuff in the description so you can look at it. It's all on Amazon and stuff. Long story short though, I think this is way better and I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, who am I and why do I have, um, you know, why do I know what I'm talking about? Well, I've had a lot of Macs. I mean, if you watch my channel, again, 300 and something videos, I mean, I've had obviously a 27 inch iMac. I've done a lot of stuff with behind me um, from 2017. Love it, do still a lot of stuff on it. I've had Mac, you know, I have Mac minis. I'll have some pictures up here. Um, I have a bunch of, you know, 2011 iMacs that I do a bunch of stuff with just to kind of beef them up and just do videos on that, like booting off external drives. I had the M1 MacBook Pro. I still have it in house, but um, I have an M1 MacBook Air. I have a picture right here. So you see the idea. I, I kind of have a lot of these computers because I'm in the business of doing reviews like this. Um, so what's a better option than a 24 inch? I'm gonna show you um, and I'm gonna itemize everything out for you. So stay tuned in the video. Let's get into it. With the cost the way they are now, I think this is a way better option and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, so without further ado, let's get into why this is a better deal. All right, for starters, really quickly though, the 24 inch you know, iMax that came out, there's a couple things, watch Max Tech video if you like that uh, kind of stuff, he's got great stuff on this, but I just wanna give you a, a setup. So there's a 1299 model and there's a 1499 model. The 1299 model just came out that there's less cooling on it, so the performance, there's also seven GPU cores, so the performance on that is a little worse than the 1499, plus you only get two ports, two IO ports on, that, on, on the cheaper system. So really, they're recommend, everyone's recommending you go with the 14 99 model for the iMac and with tax and stuff you know that's going to be like 16 something somewhere in that range so if you have 1600 bucks you know and that's a good option for you that is a good option I'm not saying it's terrible but I'm going to give you an option right now that's about a thousand all right so this is going to be June 19th 2021 prices are going to change all around and you may not be able to get to micro center if you're like in England or something like that or different country and I understand that so it's more going to be just I'm going to put together some parts and show you what's better than that 24 inch iMac so let's get into here. So this is actually right now, Westmont, it's near Chicago. I'm going to go to Apple and I'm going to go down to Mac Mini. You guessed it, but I'm, there's a lot of reasons why I'm going to tell you, so stay tuned. Look what they're selling it for right now. This is the M1 base model. It's new, it's not refurbished, $579.99, 120 bucks off, M1 right here. Incredible deal on Micro Center right now. So $579 for this computer. So why is this better than the, the 24 inch? And I'm gonna show you the other parts you can buy to make this kind of like a 24 inch, so stay tuned. The reason is, is number one, if you were, you know, this comes with eight cores and uh, eight core GPU, not seven, like the base model of the 24 inch. So it's gonna, right off the bat, it's gonna be a little bit more powerful. It's gonna benchmark better. It's also got a lot better cooling and that's all been documented. The base model, I'm telling you. So the base model of the 24 inch iMac, has less cooling than the mid-tier, so you'd really have to spend that 1,500 bucks on the iMac. Um, so, and long story short, I reckon, you know, this is, you can, worst case, you can get it for 699 at Apple, but I just showed it 579.99. How low is this gonna go? Number two, I.O. Here's the I.O. So the base model of the iMac for around 1,300, it only comes with two ports, two Thunderbolt 4 ports. This one here, obviously, comes, and you guys all know it, it comes with an Ethernet built-in. The base model of the iMac does not matches it with the two Thunderbolt 4, has an HDMI, and then it has two USB-A and a headphone jack. So way better I.O., again, better cooling, small package, 
really good computer, but we're missing a monitor and we're missing some of the other stuff which we need to get. So let's keep going. So this is a monitor that I recommend here. I'll have a link to this one. I just did a video on other monitors you can get for your Mac Mini. This was not one of them, but, but there's some other ones that are very close to this. I just picked this one for one reason, because it's 400 nits of brightness, so it's getting close to the 500 nits on the iMac. And uh, so you're not gonna get as bright, but you're not gonna also be shortchanged. This is a 4K 27 inch. It's by LG, and I'll have a link to this in the description as well, so you can pick, pick one up if you want. But this is a monitor that would be great uh, so you'd pick this one up. Uh, obviously, you can look at it. It's silver and black, so it would match the, the uh, Mac Mini perfectly. And uh, so that's number one. And I'm going to add all these costs up, and then I'll show you what the total cost will be. So number two, what we need is we need basically a mouse. And I actually had this one up for a while. This is $9.99. I like it way better than the Apple mouse. It's, a, it's pretty good construction for $10. I've used it for like a year and a half now. It is Bluetooth right here. It's wireless also. You can see the little dongle, so it comes with either or. You can either get the dongle or the, or the Bluetooth directly. It's $9.99, and it's gray, and it matches really well. They have a silver one. It looks a little cheaper. That might actually match better, depending on what you want. This is the one I have, though. Works great. I, I, nothing but great. If you just want a basic mouse that works, and it's really good tracking, really good scroll wheel, this is one I recommend. And then finally, just to wrap it up, if you're looking, again, this is all about budget. We're going after budget stuff. This is the O-Motion Ultra Slim keyboard, and uh, about 20 bucks, you know, again, really good ratings. It looks very similar, obviously, to, you named it, the iMac keyboard. It's gonna be the same color as the iMac, uh, the two, you know, the, the M1. Um, not the iMac, I'm sorry, the Mac Mini, <laughs> the Mac Mini. And uh, you can see it here, though, it's got like a little bit of a raise on it and stuff. So I have this actual one, and it works perfectly. Again, it's not going to be the best. It's not going to be something comparable to a $100 keyboard, but it's five times less, and it's a very good keyboard for, for the money, I have to say that. So at the end of the day, let's go ahead and add all this up, and let's see what the comparison is right now. So what is the difference in cost here? And uh, you get a lot, I think you get a lot more with the I.O. and the cooling and everything on the Mac, uh, the Mac Mini. So let's see what the cost difference would be. All right, and here's the final breakdown. You can see over here, so here's the M1 Mac Mini at the cost of $579.99, $396 for the LG 4K, and then we add all the stuff. I actually added some speakers in here, you can see for about 17 bucks. Really good ratings, gonna give you not as good as sound over here, obviously, but they're gonna be okay. So we're at about $1,023, so $1,000, a little over $1,000. Over here, again, in order to kind of mimic what you're going to get, we have to go at the mid-tier. And that comes in, you know, when you add everything together, about $1,500. And again, this is going to be faster, again, a little bit faster, benchmark a little bit higher, have one more GPU core, cool better, and give you a lot more I.O. So just wanted to show people, I think this is better over here. You can add up, if you want to add, you know, get to the cost here, you can do a better monitor, do a better keyboard. You can go with the Apple keyboard, go with the Apple mouse, and you'll still be right around this cost or less. So just wanted to show people what's available out there and use your imagination. All right, so what do you think? All right, with the prices at $579.99, the cheapest I've ever seen it. I mean, I don't even know how much lower this thing can go. But with all the I.O. built into it, um, you have way more I.O. With the cooling capacity of the you know, Mac Mini right now, the M1, way better than the base model iMac. And uh, you know, with the size of it, and then with the, you can use any, even if you have a screen currently, maybe you have a monitor right now that you can use that you, you know, that's 4K, and then you don't even have to buy that. Um, you know, it's a way better option, I think. Uh, Performance-wise, it's beating it on benchmarks. Um, slowly, you know, they're all close, but it's gonna be very, very close, but it's still gonna be a little bit better. And you're paying a lot less. I mean, you're paying, you know, what is that, 50% less, you know, 1,000 versus 1,500. So you do the math on that, you tell me what you think. With the pricing going down this much, you know, I think that's the better option right now, if I was, you know, gonna recommend something. So people always ask me, like, what do you recommend me buying right now? This is it, because then you can go around and you can take that system out and you can go ahead and sell it. That thing's never gonna be on the used market in the next couple years for probably under 400 bucks. So you're gonna be buying a computer and spending like 179 bucks on an M1 MacBook Air, uh, Air, <laughs> Mac Mini. I think I got air in my head here. So um, long story short, I think that's the best option. So without further ado, we're gonna wrap up the video and let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know your comments. Do you agree, do you not agree? And uh, subscribe if you can, it helps the channel grow. I do a lot of videos like this. You know, I'm trying to grow it, it takes a long time. I have a lot of videos out there. So we'll talk to everyone soon. Peace.